hello guys welcome to today's tutorial and in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make this beautiful turtleneck top you can make it as a dress as well you can wear it with a skirt with a trouser okay guys let's go to the cutting table now and i've made sure my fabric is folded into four and I made sure that it's stretching horizontally and not in a vertical direction. Thanks for those who have subscribed. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. There's a bell icon below. And please like the video let's continue with the video now I'm going down from the edge of the fabric by four I'll mark out four inches down to where I'll have my shoulder measurement I'll use my ruler and join the points I've marked afterwards I'll have to use my tape to measure out my shoulder measurement on that line. My shoulder measurement is 7.5, but then I'll just mark out my standard, the 8 inches and 3 inches that I usually mark before taking my, my shoulder slant. I'll mark down one inch below the eight inches and then join the point with the three inches mark I did. Now I'll have to determine how high I'll want my turtleneck to be. I would like it to be two inches high, but we will need a facing for it, and the facing is cut all together. So I'll make make it like four inches two inches for the facing and it will be two inches high so i'll cut i'll mark out four inches all together the length of the of the of the total neck and the facing that's two it will be as high as two and my facing will be two inches Okay, now I'm marking out 0 0.5 inches at that angle and also like 0 0.5 where I will mark out my curve. This neckline is kind, is like the other neckline on the other tutorial, but this one, there will be no zipper on it or opening at the front. Now I am taking out my armhole measurement i'll mark it out and then this is my shoulder measurement i'm taking i'll use my ruler and join my points next up i'll be taking my bust length measurement i'll take my bust length measurement the length of the top the length of the top will be around 25. My bust length measurement is um, 11.5. I'll take it down. And then afterwards, we'll take out uh, the circumference. Also, I'm also marking out my, my body's front measurement because it will be a shapey top. like these tutorials help me like the video please and please subscribe so whenever i have new videos you'll be notified and like please and please thank you and now i'm joining my points i've marked would now have to take a boss circumference measurement but then 
the bust I'm taking is like one inch smaller than my bust and because is the fabric is really stretchy it's one inch smaller than my bust I'm taking 41.5 so now I'll divide it by four and we'll have like 10.3 after doing a calculation I'm just using my tape to bend it so as to get my answer now we'll mark out 10.3 at the armhole point and then the sh the sorry the bus length will mark down the 10.3 and here would we'll make it like nine inches at 36 take the waist as 36 then when we divide it by four we'll have nine inches and so we'll mark nine inches at our waistline measurement that's where we have our bodies front and for the hip we will not take a main measurement as in a hip measurement of course because it's a stretchy fabric so now i'm just taking like 11 do my hip measurement after dividing it is 12 so i'm reducing it by one i'm taking 11. afterwards we would have to use our ruler to join the points but before then i'll i'll keep just 0 0.5 inches but while when sewing i'm going to sew one inch one inch that's what i'll do i'll sew i'll join it at one inch because it's stretchy it will still be very comfortable because the fabric is really stretchy you know how this um turtleneck is it's nice it's always stretchy and it's always hoggy on the body so i'm joining my points together once again i would like if you have watched to this point please hit the notification bell for any other tutorial i'm going to upload and subscribe like the video and share if you want to so this is my armhole i've done my armhole curve if you want to really know how to you can check my basic block pattern drafting i did my full scale bodies block bodies block pattern and you'll see a detailed way of doing your drawing your armhole curve now i am keeping my allowance 0 0.5 I will you can see the armhole there are two lines there I'll just cut out the the outer one first because that's the back before separating it after separating it I'll cut out the the armhole at the front because the front armhole and the back armhole are not the same like my video and share subscribe please please subscribe you can try it out and share a picture of of it with me on instagram the handle is vineta411 and let's see how it turned out i trust it to turn that turn out well because this is easy and it's beautiful if you have any question on these tutorials or suggestions please kindly put it down on the comment section below i would love to see your suggestions or questions concerning this tutorial i'll be there to answer all questions now and I'm trying to cut out the front armhole. The front armhole, I told you, is not the same with the back 
armhole. Now I pulled out the back and I'll cut out the front armhole. It's a bit thin. So I'll lay it flat and equal, making sure it's equal before reducing it, making it smaller. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now that's my turtle neck up there. You can see it. I will sew it and show you how it will turn out. So from the neckline down, join the, the points with the allowance I kept that's in 0 0.5 inch down to my shoulder and then I would sew the sides. I'll join the sides together and uh, before bending my my what do they call it again my facing yes my facing okay i've joined it and i fixed the sleeve i fixed a small sleeve on it and then yes a total neck i had to notch that corner you know it's good to notch curved area for it to relax and then that's my facing over there it's trying to just for me to bend it open up the seam bend it and sew measure up what i kept as my neckline and then sew that point and i also sew the other way as well open it up and sew it we have come to the end of the tutorials i told you it's going to be short